Now it's inevitable, mate, when you're working with horses that you're gonna have some buddy sour problems, okay? And what I define as buddy sour is two horses are kind of joined at the hip or they're married together. Usually these are pasture buddies, horses that are stalled to get next to each other, you know, a mare and, and one of its foals from two or three years earlier, it doesn't really matter, but they just form that bond, okay? And it can be a real pain in the ass when somebody wants to ride away and the other horse is either left at home or, or you're riding both horses on the trail and one person wants to go one way and one person wants to go the other way, it's a big problem, okay? Often we see it at clinics as well where two people will, tra you know, people will travel together and they'll, and they'll haul their horses together. Well, when they get to the clinic, they're really joined at the hip with, with, when we do the cruising lesson, they won't leave each other. So here's a good little simple way uh, for you to start uh, getting your horse to want to divorce the other horses and only be with you. Remember, you're fighting natural herd instincts. Horses have safety in numbers. So the more horses around a particular horse, the safer they feel. When a horse is off by themselves, their natural instinct or intuition is to panic and like, hey, I'm out here by myself. I'm, it's easily, I'm easily gonna get attacked by the lion. Where if I'm in a group of horses, if a lion comes, one of us is gonna die, but I'm still in a group of 10 others, okay? That type of mentality. So we're gonna start to do this, you start with just one horse, other horse. So just the two of you together. And the basic principle is, you work the horses together, you rest them apart. You work them together, rest them apart. And you do that four or five times, and pretty soon the horses don't want to hang out with each other. See, with horses that are, are buddy sour with each other, the more you try to separate them, the more they want to stay together. So you keep kicking and kicking, and the horse starts rearing and backing up, and the other one starts misbehaving. So use a little reverse psychology. Hey, you two, if you want to stay together, come on, let's stay together. But you're going to have to hustle those feet. You're going to lose some weight. You're going to sweat a little bit and then I'm gonna release the pressure away from each other. Remember, the number one rule that you can never ever forget with horses, horses learn from the release of pressure, not the pressure itself. All pressure does is motivate a horse to look for an answer. When he finds the answer you're looking for, make that the release of pressure and he'll pick up on it, okay? So, Brittany and I are gonna go around here and we'll show you, okay? So basically, we're just gonna start chasing each other's tail here, okay? Uh, okay, just like a dog chasing their tail, but you've got to make them hustle here, okay? That's it, move those feet, move those feet. Okay, now I'm gonna change direction, she's gonna chase my tail, okay? Come on, she's chasing me, she's chasing me. Come on, you've got to hustle, hustle, hustle. Don't cluck so much, kicking. Okay, come on, you got to chase them around there. Remember, it doesn't work if you lollygag around. Now change directions, Brittany. Okay, and I'm gonna chase her around. Come on, you two, didn't you want to stay together? Isn't this fun? I'm having fun, are you having fun? If you can get the damn thing to lope, make them lope. Okay, but make them hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Now I'll change direction, she'll chase my tail. Okay, come on, get over there, get over there. Get over there, you gotta make them hustle. If you need to pick up the end of your McCarty, pick up the end of your McCarty and whip her ass a little bit and get them moving. Okay, hustle, hustle, hustle. Change directions again, okay? And I'll chase her around, come on, get over there, get over there, get over there. Right, now we're gonna separate, she's gonna go that way and I'm gonna go this way. Now in the beginning, we might just separate, say, 100 feet, just like that. Now we're gonna rub on them, love on them a little bit. Let oh, that nasty paint horse, you don't wanna hang out with him, okay? You get these horses to where now it's relaxing. So in the beginning, I'm not gonna go very far because I have to establish a starting point, okay? So this is my first release of pressure, maybe 100 feet away. So I'm gonna let him rest here for five minutes. Then I'm gonna head back to Brittany, she's gonna head back to me, and we'll repeat the process. Now when you first go back towards each other, the horses will often be in a hurry. They'll be power walking back to their buddy. Come on, I missed you, I missed you. Let them hustle back to their friend. As Soon as you get together, you walk them again. Okay, Brittany, let's go ahead and come back together again. Just let them walk. Okay. 
Again, I want to let them commit to the mistake. So these two horses are doing pretty good, but they're not buddy sour anyway. But a lot of them that are will really, really hustle. So you wait till you get back together again. Wait, 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 wait. Now, come on, get after them. Move those feet, come on. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Come on, you got to make them being back to their buddy difficult. You got to make it. Turn out, go back the other way. Okay? You got to make this seem difficult. This will not work if you lollygag around. Come on, make them hustle, make them up. Change directions again. Okay? You gotta make them hustle, make them hustle. I want this to be uncomfortable. Remember, horses are lazy creatures. The more you make them walk together and rest them apart, they'll wanna do that. Change directions. Okay? Hustle, hustle, hustle. Okay? Move those feet, move those feet. Okay, Brittany, let's separate again. Except this time, we're gonna go away probably another 50 to 100 feet. Oh, wait till he softens. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's a nasty paint horse. You don't wanna go anywhere near him. Okay? And you love on him now, rub on him. Let him enjoy it. Okay? Let him relax there, rub on him. Let him get his air back. So it's crucial to let the horse rest now. Now, when we was hustling around each other just then, that wasn't long enough. If I was not in front of the camera, I would have done that for at least another minute or two, at least, okay? So don't be, you've got to make that difficult enough. And at the same time, you've got to let them rest enough. So every time I rest, on average, I'll let it be about five minutes. Set your watch and just sit here. Now at any point, if my horse or Brittany's tries to walk off and get back together, we're actually gonna let them, we're, gonna, we're not gonna stop them. And, it's, and let them walk back together. As soon as they get back together, hustle again. Because if you say, don't join up, don't join up, don't join up, what do they wanna do? Join up. Let your horse commit to the mistake, you know, work him for it, make him feel uncomfortable, and then take him away and let him rest, pretty soon he won't wanna make that mistake anymore. So we're gonna just let him rest here for five minutes and repeat. Right here. so now we've let him rest for five minutes, let's walk back. Now I can already feel Elvis, he is, he is definitely not in a hurry to go back and see the panels, okay? Like he's dreading it, like I can feel him walking slower each time, he's like, please don't make me go back and see this horse. Okay, he's, he's walking like he's going to his own funeral. Okay, this, usually it'll take four or five times of doing it for those really buddy sour herd bound horses to figure this out. These two are gonna figure it out real quick because they never were in love in the first place. Wait, 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 you gotta wait till we get together. Wait, 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 now, okay. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Move those feet, move those feet. Okay, move those feet, come on. Change directions. Muscle, come on, hoop. Move those feet, move those feet. Change directions. And the whole time I'm moving their feet, forwards, backwards, left and right. I'm working on that thinking side of his brain, okay? You can do this by going slow, but it just takes forever and it's not as effective, okay? Okay, keep hustling, keep hustling, keep hustling, keep hustling. Change directions. Keep hustling, keep hustling. Righto, we're gonna leave each other. And when I leave, I usually just kind of let them trot off. This time we're gonna go another 100 feet down the track. We're widening that gap. Good boy. And then rub on him again. Love on him, let him, let him enjoy being away from that other horse. Okay, good boy. So, this does not work if you just do it once or twice. You've got to do it a minimum of four or five times and preferably two or three days in a row. And then you'll get really good results. But if you just do it today and then you don't do it again for three more months, it won't work as well, okay? And if your horses live together constantly and are boarded together, this will have to be a, a little bit of a constant maintenance thing that you address from time to time. 
But if you do a really good job of doing a, uh, uh, getting it fixed in the beginning, you might have to give them a little bit of a refresher course of what we're doing here. Oh, every three or four weeks, once a month, something like that. But if you don't deal with it properly from the beginning, it's always like you're having to cover up the Band-Aid all the time, okay? So, uh, you know, just do it first, do it properly in the beginning. Good boy. So we're now we're just gonna let him get his air back and rest. Okay, let's go ahead and take uh, the horses back. But it's very, very important to let them walk back. Do not, now if they want to run back or they wanna be in a hurry, let them. Don't try to say, don't restrict them and say, don't go, don't go. Let them commit to the robbery. And I can just feel every time I head back to, down this way towards uh, Brittany and her horse, old Elvis here is not real excited about it, okay? Once you've done this about four or five times, even though most herd bound horses start figuring out it's not fun to be with their buddies. The biggest mistake I think people make is they don't have enough hustle when they both get back together. Now watch this, we're gonna come back together except we're, to, we're not gonna chase each other. Okay, Brittany just, see he actually started avoiding you a little bit right here, okay? We'll just stop here. This would be a great way to screw up all of the good work that we just accomplished. For us just to start bullshitting now and talking and say, oh man, we fixed that. What are the horses doing? They're resting together. So this is a great way to ruin all the good work we just did by letting two herd bound horses rest again together. So when you're fixing this, be really conscious of where you're letting those horses rest. Do not let them rest near their buddy because all you're doing is undoing all of that good work that you had uh, you know, you've been working on. I can't stress that enough. It's like the same thing when people work the horse at the gate. Do rollbacks at the gate, take your horse away from the gate and let him rest on the other end of the arena. Then five minutes later, go back to the gate again, work him at the gate, and when, and when he gets tired, take him away from the gate and let him rest. You'll get a horse to be, to get rid of being gate sale the same way. But then as soon as people do that four or five times without even realizing it, where do you think they get off the horse or they go rest the horse again? back at the gate, okay? You destroy all that good work. So we've just showed you what to do with a couple of horses, okay? Now we're gonna get more of a group situation because sometimes you've got one horse that doesn't want to leave a group of horses. He's not really herd bound with one in particular, one particular horse. It's more so he's just bound up to the group in general. So I'll show you a few little tips to do with that, mate. 